human events, it becomes necessary to kill your sick chickens who are suffering and have to go. Killing chickens isn't a super hard or long process, but it has to be a humane one. I don't want to mess this up, so I'm going to do every step necessary to make this a humane killing. So right now I'm looking for this. This to clear a path, so I'm not going to be slipping and stepping on garbage when I'm trying to kill a chicken. Shut the door, I'm going to have to come back for, I'm going to have to come back for a hatchet. Because that is, I ain't going to use a hatchet to kill her. So, the basic idea of how I'm going to kill the chicken is the Harvey Ustery style. There are three styles Harvey Ustery gives for to give, kill a chicken. There's the chopping block, there's the English method, then there's the killing cone. The killing cone, I've, I've used that in a previous video, and that's, if you know a lot of birds, that's what you want to go. English method, I've never tried that. I frankly don't really want to, it's, I'd rather just go with brute force with a sharp object. I think that's the one I'm most comfortable with. Chopping block is what I'm going for. Brute force, hatchet, chop of her head. I'm gonna do it that way. I cleared my area. So that looks pretty good. And then the path out to the world. And then, this is my chopping block. I wish it was flat, but make do with what you got, right? I'm gonna space these about a chicken neck's length width apart. And then I'm gonna do another set, like one set here, one set here, cause I don't know like how, how big a space I'm gonna need. So let's just do two and then we'll save time and effort trying to re push my nails from either side. I'm gonna go get the chicken, put her neck in between these two nails. Oh, that was, that was cool, I just popped that. Um, and then, and then um, put her head between these two nails, stretch her neck out, oh, stre I'll put, like, put the nails right here, stretch her legs out here, and then pretend this is a hatchet, chop the neck. Also, strategically, I'm gonna pretend I meant to do this, but I'm actually, while I'm doing this, I, I realize why not, why not go with it. I'm going to, that's not hard enough. I'm going to do it so it's downhill, so the blood drains off downhill. That should be far enough apart. Let's do it alone. This wood is very rotten, so it's very easy for me to put a nail in. I'm not very good at putting nails in, but hey, look, that was easy. And th that one's, this one's a little bit wiggly, that one's pretty firm. So let's do that, and then let's do another two on the upside. And do them a little bit further apart as well. And I'll keep, I'll keep the, I'll keep the uh, hammer over here, so if I need it, I can always um, reposition the nails, which I don't really want to. I don't want to have to, like, get over here, and then she's just waiting, and I'll just... To reposition the nails, but what I, I, I'll do, I'll go to great lengths to humanely kill this bird. Let's just put it that way. Another reason I'm putting down this bird is she's obviously suffering. She's panting. She's kind of stretched out. It's it's not pleasant. She's got to go. Second thing is I've had this bird since 2016, August 2016. She was one of the two Highlands that we got first got, and. Three years old, she's given us eggs, she's been pest and weed control. I'm gonna I'm gonna miss her, but I have to humanely put her down, make sure she's comfortable. I don't want her to suffer. I'm wearing this referee shirt, and a referee is supposed to be responsible and courteous and in control and charge. And that's what I hope to be in this situation is in control, responsible courteous to the chickens, suffering, yeah, 
all that jazz. What you're looking at is a very, very sick chicken. She can't move her legs. She keeps pushing her wings out. She keeps twitching. But the most concerning sign is her comb. It's disfigured. It's over to the side. It's not the happy heart red that it should be. Instead, it's wilted. It's pushed to the left. It's, it's dark. It, lo it just looks bad. She, she needs to go. Sharpen this thing. Got my dad to sharpen this thing. Definitely not pretty. I had to do several strokes, and that's never ever what I want to do. But it's the first time I've ever done it, and I'm definitely, I'm definitely shaking a little bit. Um, but the idea is shortest time possible. Shortest time possible. Kill the chicken in the shortest time possible, and that's what I was going for. Less than 15 seconds, and that's what that's what counts. Now, any any quivering or shaking you're gonna see is her body, it's the nervous system. Um, no, she's dead. She doesn't have a head, so she's dead. If we were trying to eat her, which I was never ever gonna do, she's sick, I don't know what's wrong with her, then we would probably try to drain her, but again, we weren't trying to kill we weren't trying to eat her, so it didn't it didn't matter. She could keep all the blood she wanted. Now I'm gonna clean off all my equipment and then go bury her. Or go bury her and then clean off my equipment.